All right, guys, it's Saturday morning, and Workhorse, believe it or not, is going to be here on a Saturday. Guy was in, I think, Athens, Georgia. So rather than fly back to Phoenix and then fly back out here, he decided to just drive down here for the weekend. So I had my electricians come in and go ahead and place the drop so you can see the airline and the conduit for electricity is all one and the same. We put in a longer power cord for the rolling flashing unit and uh, poked everything up with uh, a locking plug. So good to go there. Three phase is hooked up for the dryer and see here voltage meter is all lit up so we're ready to anytime go anytime i get new equipment i do not like the person spending time unpacking the crate so i have everything basically unpacked ready to go um i got all these arms undone and ready to install and then over here, I was afraid to unpack this thing too much because these suckers are heavy and I don't know exactly where to unscrew it, but I unpacked it a little bit and we can do the rest while they're here. Here's kind of the massive wood that we have unscrewed for this thing. Hopefully we're gonna be doing some automatic pressing next week. I was wondering how we were gonna get this thing off of the pallet. Dude made a ramp and drove a pallet jack on top of it. Pretty freaking cool. And you're willing to answer the phone, provide some customer service, get back to people. You have a pretty good business, so. That's good, good. Around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, hey. You're the top dog around here, man, it's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's the tail end of the day, and we have an automatic press basically set up for the most part. There's a few things that still needs to happen with it, but not a whole lot. Um, Guy Adam is gone for the day, but he will be back tomorrow on Sunday, and we will be uh, getting the dryer all set up and ready to go. And then Monday, we're going to be training the team on how to use this. So we'll be actually learning how to use this with an actual project. But uh, uh, there's one small issue with this thing so far, uh, which I find is kind of funny. I'll show you what it is. Okay, so the bottom frame, that square rectangular frame on the bottom actually holds compressed air in this machine rather than having a tank that you have to fit in somewhere. They have designed this so that the frame itself holds air pressure. Well, apparently they did not pressure test this because the welds are pretty poor. There's a hole right here. So we're gonna have to J weld this thing tomorrow in order to get that plugged up. So there's definitely an annoying hissing sound uh, that is definitely going to get old, but my copper air tube, um, has no leaks and is working out great per someone's suggestion. They recommended that, uh, I use a rubber hose going from the compressor to my air chiller. Um, otherwise the, uh, manifold may break. So I, I appreciate, um, whoever recommended that I did change that out with a rubber air hose. So there we go. But, uh, thankfully my copper pipe is holding up pretty well. Or so I thought it was. Look at that. I see some bubbling right there. What the heck? Hmm. Might be something to address or might not be a big deal at all. Who knows? All right, here's what this thing looks like. Give it a once around. Pretty wild looking.
So that is what a day one of a workhorse Sabre automatic screen printing press setup looks like. I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit that thumbs up for me and I'll see you soon. Take care.